Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP. And today we'll be heading back to Johnson's Landing in the American War of Independence for a game of Sharp Practice. All right, so yeah, we haven't played uh, Sharp Practice and what I feel hasn't been a while. It might not, it might really have not been that long, but um, it feels like we haven't played for a while. So uh, we're gonna play it tonight. And we've been getting some requests for American War of Independence. So that's what we're gonna be playing. So we've set up the board. Uh, we're going to be playing a custom mission tonight, and it's quite different. Uh, the forces are quite different, so we'll go ahead and, uh, and get started with the uh, intro stuff. So tonight's mat is going to be our uh, Sicily mat by Geek Villain, one of our favorite all-time mats. It's, uh, it's just very nice. If you want to get one, check out the description. Uh, other than that, there's quite a bit of cover, but there's also quite a bit of open space on this board. So first of all, we have tons of St. Grill fencing. Both sides of all the roads, that's going to be soft cover, minor obstacle. There's also quite a few wheat fields around the board as well. Those are just going to be soft cover. And then we have trees, a few stands of trees, or I guess two stands of trees. And those are going to be um, four inch visibility, soft cover. We have one small orchard here, six inch visibility, small cover. And the buildings are going to be soft cover as well. So that's it for the terrain. So the mission tonight is going to be called Die on Your Feet. And this is going to be a militia heavy for, for the Continentals. And the townspeople of Johnson's Landing here, uh, they know the British are coming and they're trying to buy time for the main Continental Army. So they're going to try to do their best to stop the British advance. So I got some ideas from this from uh, Dignan, who's going to be our captain of the uh, militia tonight. Also, uh, one of our other patrons, Jake, gave me some ideas. So I kind of combined both of their ideas with some of my own and came up with this mission. So again, I don't play test these. I have no idea how well it's going to work, but uh, Sharp Practice is a solid game. And even on uh, other games where I've just come up with it at the last minute, we've had a good games. So hopefully that, that holds true tonight. So, uh, okay, die on your feet. So the British, the main objective is going to be to capture the crossroads, hence the town of Johnson's Landing. They're going to be deploying um, their main deployment point anywhere on the western board edge. And then any secondaries that they may buy will deploy just normal secondary deployment point rules. Um, and they're going to have to so capture the crossroads and they need to destroy these two houses. Uh, those are secondary objectives. Uh, so they'll just be coming in from here and moving down towards the crossroads and destroying things along the way. Uh, so the uh, militia, their uh, objective obviously is to defend the crossroads. Their primary deployment point is going to be the church. They're also going to have secondaries in both houses that only uh, militia skirmishers or regular skirmishers can deploy out of. The main line is going to have to come out of the church. Um, oh, one thing I forgot about also on the British, uh, son of Magua, he will only be able, or his men will only listen to him. Uh, this is early in the war. They don't really trust the British yet. So the main or the big man for the British cannot command Son of Magua to do anything. It's only on Son of Magua's card that they can activate or on two flags as normal for a regular group. But anyway, back to the uh, militia. Um, so main, main deployment point, secondaries. Uh, there's a, we're going to have a rule called Rebel Ground. So the uh, uh, militia big man, he can use flags to replace men in any unit that is within his command range, any militia unit. So that just represents people from the town getting up and uh, grabbing their weapons and filling in the ranks. So that's going to be a special use of cards uh, for the militia. And I think that is pretty much it. Oh, they'll get an extra three inch deployment as well uh, from all of their deployment points because this is their town. They know it, so they're going to get a little bit of extra, a free uh, extra distance on their deployment. Uh, there's one more rule, but we'll talk about that when we look at the forces. And that'll do it for the mission, so let's go ahead and look at the forces. We'll go ahead and start with the militia force. So it's heavily militia, uh, almost all militia, except for a couple of units. And again, uh, I do not uh, use points. I just kind of eyeball it. And just eyeballing it, I think that this force is probably less points than the British, but that's fine as the British are attacking. And they, of course, need a little bit of extra, um, little bit of extra help to get uh, across the board and to the crossroads. So we'll start off back here. We have three groups of veteran militia. So veteran militia, they're going to have first fire 
and they're going to have a controlled first volley only. Uh, they're going to also have sharp practice and aggressive, and they are going to have a crashing volley three step out too. So they're, uh, but they're only eight man uh, militia units. So they're smaller but better, but they are still militia. So uh, in fisticuffs that that could come into play, but they are aggressive. So it's just a beefed up. Um, beefed up version of militia. So they're just really dedicated to defending Johnson's Landing. So they're going to be under command of level three leader Reese Dignan. He's a captain. And then we have uh, Wadsworth, Captain Robert Wadsworth and his rangers with their rifles. They're going to have all the bells and whistles. Uh, they're going to have tomahawks, aggressive, good shots. They're uh, really good. He's going to be a level one leader as well. And then we're going to have Lieutenant Sander Tyson. He's going to be in command of a Continental Light Infantry group. So these guys were just around the area, came in to help the citizens. He's level one. They have muskets, tomahawks, sharp practice. Very good. Uh, then we're going to have a group of militia skirmishers, so townspeople. And they are going to be militia skirmishers, so they're going to have to be in long range and cover to get the plus one. Um, they're going to, have to be armed with muskets, and that's pretty much it. Uh, they're not going to have very many special rules. And, oh, they will have sharp practice, but other than that, uh, they're just regular militia skirmishers. And then we have one light cannon that's going to be commanded by Sergeant Ryan Horton, who's a level one. And then we're going to do the same thing we've done in the past few games. We're going to have a group of cavalry for both sides that can come in if the player has four flags and they want to bring them in. Uh, they'll be coming in on uh, the road on their board edge. Um, maybe somewhere else we'll talk about it, but uh, if they do come in, we'll figure it out. But generally they come in on the roads on the player's board edge and four flags to do that. And that's uh, Cody Neal, Lieutenant. And I think that is it for the Continental Force. So on this side we have the Red Coat Force. So lots of Red Coats in this one. we got four groups of Red Coats. So these are the early war Red Coats. I believe they have thin red line and sharp practice. They're really good. And four groups of those guys. So very expensive formation here. They're going to be commanded by level three captain on Anvala. And assisted, assisting him is going to be Sergeant Allen Down. So this is a really uh, scary force here um, that the Continentals are going to have to deal with. Level three leader, level one leader, and four groups of redcoats. Uh, next up we have Son of Magua. And he's going to be leading the uh, mob of Indians. So this isn't two groups of skirmishers. This is the 12-man mob of Indians. And I believe they have aggressive first fire. I'll have to look at it. Uh, they, I know they have prominent leader. I guess I should have looked all this up before I started this part, but whatever. Uh, during the game, we'll sort it out because we got Magua and his boys. And next up, we have uh, Lieutenant Dan here. He's going to be leading a group of dismounted dragoons. So they're just skirmishers. They're not light infantry. They have muskets and they have sharp practice. And then lastly, we have uh, Lieutenant Decalone. He's going to be commanding the British Light Cannon. And lastly, we have the uh, Dragoons, the British Dragoons, under the command of Lieutenant Lieutenant Alfred Wallace. And again, they're going to come in on four flags, should the British commander so choose to use them for that. And that will do it for the British force. That's the mission. We'll go ahead and get started. All right, so Andre's here. He's going to be the British. He's placed his primary deployment point there. And we picked our support. We've done our force morale. Andre's at a 10, I'm at a 9. Andre's force support is a musician, a holy man. He's bumped Lieutenant Dan, the dismounted dragoons, up to a level 2. And he's brought a spirit and tinderbox for one of his uh, somebody. Um, I have brought a musician, a holy man, a barricade. And I bumped um, Wadsworth up to level two. And I think that's it for the preliminary stuff. So we're ready to begin. There'll be a card guy and we begin. The red, red one for the good guys. So blue four, blue four. that is uh, Walter Leach. That is my skirmish uh malicious skirmishers which i'm not i'm gonna wait <laughs> you don't want them to be the first ones on not the yet, scene not yet Ooh. oh that's dignan that's my big man i brought captain reese dignan and his group of veteran or his formation of veteran militia in there nine inches from the church since i have the uh extra three inch for this being my own town 
I still couldn't get them in line, so I just kind of put them like that, and then I'll hopefully be able to get them in line when we move. Another red flag. Red something. Red three. That's uh, son of Magua. Ooh. Okay. Son of Magua and his guys came out. So we looked at the rules for them. They have um, aggressive tomahawks, prominent leader, ambush. Step out. Step out one. So they're going to be fast movers. Next card. Ooh. Ah, oh, it's the Tiffin. Okay. Well, let's move on to the next turn. Next turn. That's blue leader four. That is Leech again. Uh, you know, I'm thinking about bringing Leech in now. That's my skirmishers. I do have my barricade. I could bring them in from here and, like, put them over here as a distraction. <laughs> I think it's more of a sacrifice, but okay. <laughs> more of a sacrifice than a distraction. All right, I'll wait again. I'll wait one more time. Well, I mean, you could bring them in in the back. Bring them in out of this barn. Yeah, I could do that. Uh, start. Yeah, I mean, you could be moving them into them in position. position. Well, I have the barricade for them, so when they come in, oh. I need to keep the barricade. Okay, never mind. I'll then. wait. All right, next card. Leader two, that's Sergeant Downs. Red leader four, it's Lieutenant Dan. All right. Lieutenant Dan and his dismounted dragoons have come in here uh, right next to Son of Magua. So remember, Andre has to burn down these two buildings as well as part of his objectives. So next card. Three, that's Son of Magua. Let's see what he does next. Son of Magua and his guys have uh, moved up there uh, to the building and Andre has informed me that they do have the Spirit and Tinder box. So they'll be able to start burning Ah, the Tiffin has come out. Okay, then we move on to the next turn. Okay, then. Well, uh, good British turn, as Andre said. Three. Uh, that's uh, Sander Tyson, which is my Continental Light Infantry. Lieutenant Tyson is uh, deployed uh, from the from the barn. He's been hiding in there. He's over here now and looking to uh, put a little threat onto the British. Red flag. Blue flag. Oh, it's the big man. It's Captain Anvala. Bring it! Captain Anvala and his giant formation of redcoats has uh, deployed into a column off of the primary deployment point there. And yeah, that's it. So next card. Blue four, that's again Leech. <laughs> he really wants to He really wants game. to come in, doesn't he? Uh, let me think about if I want to bring him in yet. Uh, Andre re realized uh, he could have had um, Anvala order some issues and commands when he came in. So we're going to let him do that. He's going to order uh, Son of Magua to try to light the house on fire, needing an 11, so he's at a 5. Okay, so, and the Spirit and Tinder boxes is for two groups, so he gave one to Magua and Dan has the other one. So the house is almost halfway half. lit. It's at least doused. Half lit. <laughs> Next card. Red flag. Blue flag. Two flags each. That's uh, Sergeant Downs. Can't do anything. Four. That's Lieutenant Dan. Uh, Lieutenant Dan uh, uses all three of his moves to just advance up pretty well up to the edge of the uh, wheat field here. Next day, uh, or next card. What game are we playing again? Three, uh, that's Magua. He already activated. I'll pull the shock. Pull the shock. Blue five, that's Horton, my cannon, which is good. Lieutenant Horton and his light cannon have come in three inches from the church. Um, and we are going to fire a solid shot down at Son of Magua. Present first fire. So threes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits. Seven hits on the Magua. You'll be in the open. In the open? Yeah, because you're not skirmishers. You're firing over three fences. Three? Well, <laughs> at All least right, two. All right, soft cover then. We'll give you soft cover then. That's cool. Whoa. A dead and four shock on wow. Tamagua. 
Yeah. Whoa. So much for Magua. And he's not dead yet. Yeah. He only lost well, one guy. Four shock. Four shock, yeah. Am I wrong or doesn't that kind of make you ineffectual in this game? <laughs> it does. <laughs> it definitely does. So you got your leader there. If he gets within four, you can pull him. All right, next card. Another flag. So three flags for Andre. Uh, he could bring in his cannon with that. He gets one more. He can bring in Wallace and his dragoons. Five. Oh, How that's about the I cannon. just bring in the cannon? Okay. Where to put the cannon? It's uh, kind of crowded over there right now. Two. Oh, it's Wadsworth. Okay. Just had Wadsworth come in there onto um, Dignan's right flank. Just I need. I always want to keep someone on every flank, so he's going to be over there, 15 inches from the church, still out of range, even with his rifles from uh, Son of Magua by a couple inches. So next card. That's the big man. Okay. Captain Dignan. Uh, they just did a right face, marched six inches that direction. And then with one of his other commands, he had that group in the back just snap in line. So they're there now, but they're facing that way. But really no threat to them. So next card. It's turned out to be a long turn. Andre's just debating if he should do something with his flags. I can't think what it would be. Okay. That's three for me. I know what I'm going to do if I get four flags. I'm going to bring my, my cavalry in. Ah, uh, there's four flags, so Andre could bring in Wallace. We'll, we'll let or him think about I it. Could move my... Or he could move those guys again. We'll let Andre think about it. Right, Lieutenant Wallace, uh, Andre burned his four flags, and we got a uh, cab on the board pretty early in the game. Hey, it's Wallace, okay. <laughs> That's him? That's him. <laughs> okay, cards so in there. I'll activate him. <laughs> now we'll put his card in the deck now. Oh, no, I didn't get it. Uh, I wanted to bring in... <laughs> My guy, dang it. So he's not in the deck no, yet? No, he's not in the deck. Okay, well everyone went except mine. So everything's on the board except my cavalry, my militia skirmishers, and deck alone, the uh, British cannon. All right, sadly, the um, Continental Cap never made it, but here we go on to the next turn. Whoa, oh. end of chapter. Uh, does that do anything? We'll have to look it up, but we'll... We'll shuffle and come come right back. No, nothing. Won't affect our game right now. The end nothing of the chapter. Nothing from nothing leaves nothing. Captain Wadsworth. Okay, he'll get to move now. Captain Wadsworth was able to get over there on the far edge where I wanted him. So there he is and some good cover. Blue three. That's uh, Tyson. Oh, that's these guys here who now have... <laughs> suddenly there's cavalry in front of them. All right, we'll see what the... You wanted us to go where, sir? See what Sander's going to do. Uh, Lieutenant T uh, Sander Tyson. 3d6, you got five inches. Two, uh, two ones and a three. Didn't even make it all the way into the wheat field. Definitely didn't shoot. Blue flag. Blue four. That's Walter Leach, who's dying to come in. <laughs> <laughs> Should I bring him in? Uh, I might have to bring him in now, so let me think about it. So Leech uh, has come in here. He brought his barricade. So these guys brought the barricade, which I think is soft cover. But for them, it'll be hard cover because they're skirmishers. And next card. Whoa, something oh, red. Darn. Come on, Tiffin. Woohoo. Five is a, that's your cannon. Yep. <laughs> Blue flag. I told you the cannon would be the first <laughs> thing I got out. Red flag. Red flag. That's three flags in a row. Oh. So the last person I think to move was... Uh, yeah. Oh, because they didn't move. They just deployed. Yeah. All right. We'll figure it out. Well, it was a 10, and uh, Sander Tyson's bally is a bally leg. He sprained his ankle, and he has a bally leg, which means minus one pit per dice movement for the rest of the game, because I have no physic. Three. That's Magua, who's got four shock on him. Mm. He do have two flags, though. There's really nothing else to do with them, so we'll let Andre think about it. We're just going to burn the two flags, and he's going to have the um, have them continue trying to light the building on fire. They're at five right now, needing six more. There was a time when we were playing this where if he was a level one leader, 
using flags to pull shock, you had to, you couldn't uh, split it. But are, were we wrong before? Well, you're you're essentially boosted him to a level three leader right. by doing that. So yeah. you use two to pull shock and the last okay. one to uh, was, activate. That's why I thought that we were screwed up before. Yeah. This seems correct. Yeah, it's hey. on fire. Woo so that building is now on fire. No one will be deploying from it, and Andreas um, completed one of his objectives. The next card. Oh, there we go. All right, so Ann Vala is going to finally be able to move that giant formation out. Okay, the big formation has advanced. Uh, Captain Ann Vala, Sergeant Downs, he advanced seven, and he's used his other two commands to snap them into line. So here they come. No, oh, no. Two flags. Two so flags. So what haven't you done yet? Your main line? Uh, my main main guy. Yeah, and my cannon will reload. So I'll have my cannon reload, and then I will... Um... Didn't your cannon reload? No, he fired. I never put the smoke down. Remember he fired at Mogwa? I thought we ended the chapter. Oh, that happened in between? Oh, so I could fire the cannon again then. Okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, let me think about it. So my first flag uh, moved Dignan's boys up uh, again. I rolled snake eyes. That's the second time in moving that I rolled snake eyes. So he just barely crept up towards the fence. But next, I'm going to have Horton. Uh, he's going to present and fire over there at Son of Magua. Um, so I need fours. Wow. Not quite as good as last time. That is a horrible. We're getting all these bad rolls out of the way right now. Okay. All right. Give me a kill. Nothing. Nothing. Hey, at least wow. I'm unloaded. That's not something you see with a cannon <laughs> shot very often. Well, I've seen it. <laughs> very often. All right. I will just go right into it. Go ahead, Andre. Blue three, it's, uh, oh, it's Tyson. Able to make it. I'll be unloaded. Uh, but I did make it up. <laughs> I had to roll <laughs> an extra dice to get one inch farther up, which I barely made with the Bally Lake. But I am in range now. Of Wallace and his dragoons, so I am going to be needing fours first fire light infantry. That's not bad. That's four hits on the Wallace. Um, needing uh, soft cover here. That's a dead and two shock. That's some good shooting. So check and see if it's Wallace. It's not Wallace, but it's a dead dragoon and two shocks. So we'll take it from Lieutenant Tyson. Here we go. Two shock. That's the important thing. Hey. Uh, hey, it's the cannon. He can come in if, uh, <laughs> of course, he'll never be able to shoot. This is true. Uh, Lieutenant Decalone and his um, cannon have come in off the primary deployment point back there. Next card. Blue flag. Red flag. Red flag. So that's three flags in a row. Last thing was. I think it was shooting. these guys firing. <laughs> oh man! So Tyson again. It smells right. like wet powder to me. Oh no! So it was a the nearest building within twelve catches fire, which would have helped Andre a lot. But he's, the building is not within twelve, so I'm safe. That would have been something, right? Okay, three red flags. Now Andre could possibly activate. We'll let him think about it. Andre's just going to hold on to those flags for now. Blue flag. This will be the second, third flag in a row, won't it? <laughs> no, not this time. That is Captain Wadsworth, who might be in range of something now. I'm just going to fire at Magua. I'm just out of range of the big group, so uh, good shots, level two leader. So nine shots, needing fours on the Magua. Uh, one, two, three, four, five hits. And three near hits. Three near hits. <laughs> Man. Uh, two dead and two shock. We'll give you cover for the wheat field. Shooting over it. Uh, if not, it's going to be two dead and you're three You're closer. Shock. Okay. All right. Then, uh, yeah, so it's a two dead and three shock on Mogwa. See if it's Mogwa, son of Mogwa. Nope. All right, just two dead and three shock. So what's Mogwa up to now? Five, five shock. Five, yeah, Mog was hurting. Next card. 
Uh, that's my big man. Let's see if you can get up to the fence this time. Uh, it's uh, more than two inches. Oh, oh yeah. He did it. Uh, Dignan and his men have made it up to the fence, so they're in a pretty good position there. I don't know if they'll be able to take on that line or not, but uh, who knows. What is that? Five? Four. Four. We, uh, Walt Leach, that's these guys. Let's stay there. Hey, a red card. Oh, that's, yeah, that's uh, Wallace, the Dragoons. Uh. Andre's going to have, uh, he's going to see if he can get Wallace's Dragoons to charge Tyson at the gallop, jumping over the fence. All I need to do is average five per die. Uh, I didn't make it. Nope. Ten. Ten plus nine. Nineteen. Nineteen. All right, so redo a little bit here. Um, we forgot he galloped. He had wanted to go 45 and line up on these guys, but if he galloped, he would have to go straight through here. So we let him change it to the canter, and he didn't nearly make it nearly as far. But <laughs> at least he's lined up now. So there we go. Two, that's a Downs. Sergeant Downs. Four, that's Lieutenant Dan in the wheat field. Lieutenant Dan has uh, moved over the fence. He'll be unloaded, but he's going to fire over at Tyson's guys. Needing fours. Three? Three hits. Wow. Okay. Three hits on these boys. That's two dead and a shock, right? A point of shock. <laughs> One point of shock. No problem. Uh, that was not the deal. Next card. Oh, it's the big man. Big man. Captain Anvala. Uh, First thing he did, uh, Anvala ordered Magua to just fall back into the uh, into the wheat field here. Actually, pull the shock too off of him. I pulled two shock. Two shock. I pulled two shock off. Yeah. So he was uh, when he pulled back, he was attached to Anvala, who pulled two shock, and then he ordered his giant formation to just advance up, and they're got moving. a decent uh, got a decent inch. move, and they're moving up. They're they're coming for me. Oh, that's three. That's oh, look, three the Tempest Fugit. <laughs> oh, we got to shuffle that in. Uh, yeah, that sucks. How are we going to play that? We'll figure it out. Uh, the next card was the Tiffin. But... Oh, well. Oh, no, red flag. <laughs> oh, now he wants to change his mind. <laughs> All right, so at the end of the... F Do I have anything? What were they saying about me being so honest? It's a five. Uh, so I got my cannon left. Just my cannon. And you have uh, Magua who are reactivated. Yeah. Oh, so, but I can pull a... No, because no, that's can't, after the tiffin. After, yeah. Yeah. But I can do something with my cannon. At the end of the... Uh, after the tiffin, I just had Horton and his cannon move out. They got a decent move, five-inch move, so they're out. They're uh, moving up. Next next card. All right. Three more and I get my cavalry in. Woohoo! Two more and I get my cavalry in. One more and you oh, get... Oh, no. Oh, but at least you can't do thin red line, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> but the giant formation is on the move. So we're doing this in reverse order, but he did order the cannon to fire over there at uh, Leech. But uh, he's gonna do, he did that first and then he moved up and he just moved the what, five inches up. Yeah. But now he's gonna do a present fire, first fire all the way over there at Leech. Needing. See, fours uh, or threes? Fours. First fire present. Well, fours uh, or is threes. the same. Threes. Yeah, fours. We'll just call it fours. Okay. <laughs> so five hits. Not a three on the board. All right. So let's uh, reduce the cover here by one. A dead and a shock. I'll take this guy out. He's just loafing around anyway. <laughs> Got his musket slung over his shoulder like he's what? just kind of chilling out here. And then a shock. Okay. Tiffin. <laughs> no. <laughs> I need two more blue flags. Oh. Ah, that's my big man. Okay. Uh, Dignan. Uh, so he's got really good range. He had the cannon move. He got another four inch move, which is pretty decent. We're now in line of sight of that big formation already. And then he had uh, Wadsworth's guys reload. And then he presented, had his own men present. They get one present and they're using it right now. Didn't you move up to No, that, no, that was, was last, last time. time yeah. Okay. Red flag. Sergeant Downs, uh, nothing to do yet unless you break him off. Three. That's Magua back there. 
Yeah, you pull a shock. What's he down to? Two now? Two. Chipping away. He'll be back in the game here in no time. I need him to be out of the game. Actually, two, and he's going to move up 3d6. 2d6. He's not skirmishers. Oh. Um, he's just, actually, he's just going to go that way. All right. Four inches. Okay, he took it back because he only used a level one, so he just pulled the shock. We got a blue six, or a red six. Oh, boy. Ooh, oh, no, that's the, the cavalry. Now, this is not a good turn for the Continentals. So he's used his flag to boost himself, or to boost Wallace to level two. He used one to pull the shock. He's going to charge in, and I'm going to try to evade. We don't ever do Actually, this. Actually, I can pull two shock, can I? Or no. No. That would, then I couldn't, okay. And you couldn't move. So we're going to try to evade with Tyson. Come on, Tyson. He's got a bally leg, though. <laughs> <laughs> So, I need a good roll here. Come on, dice gods. What is that? Oh, a three. four inches. Six, four inches. I don't know if that's going to do it. So, I, I'm now 20 inches away from the Dragoons. So, so he's need galloping. 11. He needs 11 on three dice, no problem. Come on, whip. Woohoo! Oh, I missed. He didn't make it. So... Man, I don't think you would have made it even uh, <laughs> if I didn't evade, would you? Uh, yeah. I... You would have made the evade. Because it would have been... No, I would have been an inch short. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, because of the shock? Oh, so I didn't even need to evade, but... Okay. So... Well, regardless, I didn't get attacked by the Dragoons yet. So he did miss. Uh, he would have made it. Uh, if I didn't evade, he had just enough, because I was right at the edge of the wheat field. So he would have just got to me, but I evaded and I made it for now. I'm safe. <laughs> I don't know how long I'll be safe, but uh, look at this cascade of red cards. Woo! <laughs> Never ending. Um, that's a thin red line. Well, you have to do it with when your leader's card comes out. Oh. It already came out, so you can't do it. You can sharp practice something. Um, sharp practice those guys. They could fire, but they wouldn't get to present. Um, we'll let Andre think if he wants to use those two flags. All right, next, next card. I'm thinking about it then. Better not be Tiffin. I need some cards here. All right, three. Uh, that's Tyson. He, his guys already went, but he can pull the shock at least. Okay, four. Uh, that's Leech. That's these guys. So they're gonna fire. We're gonna fire at uh, Wallace. So Leech and his boys are gonna fire at these guys. So that is this game. No. Oh. No, but I'm within 12 with everybody. They are? I think. So, fives and threes. At these guys. From Sergeant Leach. I'm sorry. Lieutenant Leach. Uh, okay, four hits on you. In the open. On the Dragoons. Four dead. No, but you have a dead and two shock. So check and see if it's Wallace. It could be him. <laughs> you only need to roll one die six. <laughs> Wasn't him. It was a two. Okay, so one dead and two shock on those guys. Next card. Man, there's still red shit in there? Who is that? Lieutenant Dan. Hey. Lieutenant Dan, he... Uh, he decided just to go around this way on the road, move 3d6, and he got two there. Next card. Man, how many red cards are there? <laughs> it's never ending. <laughs> Who is uh, I that? I still got uh, a flag. That's, that's your my cannon. cannon. Who already fired? So, so can't uh, do anything. I'll use the two flags and his activation to reload. <laughs> Thin red line. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that. Three. Here we go again with the three. Come on, give me another flag, please. You're going to go for it, huh? Chill, yeah. Tiffin! Oh, come on. <laughs> man. That was a horrible turn for me. Uh, well, I can't. What do I have left? Pretty much. I got one, I got two. Two, four, two, five, six. All right, I need a blue turn. Nope. 
Okay. Oh, man, not that. I need a blue card here. Who is that? Lieutenant Dan again? Lieutenant Dan has come around with 2d6, and he's going to fire at the back end of Tyson's guys. First fire, right? Uh, no. No? No. What do you shoot at? Uh, shot at them before oh. when they were over here. Okay, so I'm needing fives. So three hits. Three hits. Too bad. A lot of fours. That would have been fours. All right, three hits, uh, hardcover. I did. See if it's Tyson's not. I lost a man though. No shock though. Thank God. Next card. And Dan's gonna be unloaded, by the way. Blue flag. Okay, I got two again. Can yep. I get two more? You're halfway there. I'm halfway there again. <laughs> uh, blue three. That is. Oh, that's Sander. That's these guys. Thank God. Okay, so I just had Tyson uh, reload, turn around, and we're going to fire and then be unloaded again. <laughs> so I got to do my damage now. I have to do it now. I thought about running off, but uh, belly leg and all. <laughs> we'll just fire. Can you evade after you've activated? I don't think so, but I'll check, maybe. Kind of cool if you could, but uh, we'll find that out, I'm sure, so... Yeah, I'm just going to fire fire straight ahead, uh, needing threes. Two misses. Four so. hits. Four hits onto uh, Wallace's guys. It's two shock. So he's at five shock now, which is good. And then I'll be unloaded again. Next card. Red flag. Oh. Boy, okay, tiffin. So after the tiffin, first thing Andre's gonna do, he's going first, he's got higher force morale. He's gonna have Wallace charge into Tyson, and I'm gonna evade again. Uh, even though they've already activated, it doesn't say anything in the rules about not being able to evade if you've activated. It just says if you get attacked, you can try to evade. Um, I still am not gonna make it, but, but you know what? I can just go that way, right? Because you gotta go in a straight line yeah. Could I just like evade? Or I have as to long as you clear me. <laughs> well, let's see. I got my valley leg anyway. Okay, so at uh, five inches. Five inches. <laughs> That's probably not going to do it. Get to there. Yeah. I was going to try to be gamey and move off to the side, but it says away. So Andre has to get to me. Yeah, might do it. Shouldn't be a problem. Plus nine. So it's he's made it. Uh, I'm, I think I calculated I have seven or six or seven, but then half of that. And he's got like, yeah, he's got three or four times more dice than I do charging with Dragoons. So he's going to capture, let's say he captures Tyson, kills everyone else. So we'll have to roll some bad things. Okay, so we'll say he's a status level one. We'll say routes off table because that's what we use for captured. A four. That's probably a one. Uh, minus one, and then group wiped out. That'll be another one. Group wiped out. What I roll? Five. Minus two. For a group? Yeah, group wiped out, four to six is minus two. Wow. Oh, so I dropped three. Oh, came down to uh, six. six. Wow. My first one, I'm gonna have leech fire at these guys. Needing fours. That's three hits. A dead and two shock. So he's up to seven <laughs> shock. Check, you gotta check your leader. It's not him, but it's another dead. So they're, they're starting to really get beat up, but they did take out a unit, which is more than cavalry usually does in this game. Uh, do I have <laughs> to fall back? Uh, you got six guys with seven shock. Yeah, I guess you do have to do a involuntary withdrawal. So a bad thing happens for that. Nothing. No. Okay, so the next uh, Andre's got the next flag. Andre moved uh, the big formation up. Captain and Vala's guys. Would you move five? Uh, yeah. They moved up five inches, just straight ahead. Still not in range though. And with my last card after the tiff, and I just the cannon moved up three more inches. So. We're getting there slowly. Guys. <laughs> yeah. We lost our live stream earlier. But we're back. And here we go. Next turn. 
Oh, man. Okay, Sergeant Downs. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Pretty much. Not too worried about him. Three. Uh, Sandry might as well take him out. <laughs> He's not even on the game anymore. Three for you is Mogwa, who's ready to come back in the game now. He's only got, what, one shock left? Two. Two, Two shock. Mogwa just pulled a shock. Red flag. There we go. That's something. Cannon. Like... Hey, it is the cannon. Reload. We're reloading the cannon. Okay. Next card. Red flag or blue flag. That's two flags in a row. Three flags in a row. Cannon reload. I don't think that's. It's a move or fire. So the last person to move was the cannon. Right. The turn before. Yeah. Okay. They're looking for their map. But they're not in column, so they realize they don't need a map. They know where they are. What does that mean? Because hmm? you get because they'd have already moved. So what do you mean they halt? I think it says the next turn they don't. Oh, can't move or don't. Something. Okay. I didn't really finish reading it. I just saw it said column and forgot it. Uh, that's uh, Wallace. So uh, we're gonna have um, he's gonna have Wallace just fire. So we're firing from the saddle. We think it just increases the cover of the target unit by one. But he's only getting three shots. Got two hits Woo! though. Two hard cover. Nothing. Ah. He's got seven shock on him. <laughs> yeah. Alright, give me but some. But I got blue. two hits. I need something blue here. There we go. There you go. There we go. That's Wadsworth. Wadsworth is gonna fire over at Lieutenant Dan. Blank shot on him, uh, but he is a level two or good shots. Um, long range with the rifles, needing fives. That's two hits. Come on, give me some shock, Andre. I want some shock. No, just a dead. <laughs> I don't want a dead, I want a shock. Unless it's Lieutenant Dan. Could be Lieutenant Dan. Nope. Okay, well, whatever. Not as good as I was hoping, but whatever. It'll uh, it'll have to do for now. So next card. Oh, do I have to flip them this way? Oh, oh man, again with the Tiffin. Okay. So Andre had his cannon reload, and next up I'm gonna have these guys fire at Lieutenant Dan. Um, so long range, I'm in cover, so that means I'm gonna be hitting on fives. A hit. I got a hit. Come on, give me something. Kill, shock, anything. Nothing. Damn. All right. Uh, so Andre still got two two things left. So Lieutenant Dan hasn't gone yet. Nope. The last flag. Andre moved the big line up. So here we go. We are now ready to start exchanging volleys after. I was ready last time. Three hours of gaming. <laughs> <laughs> I had the flags. I was gonna thin red line. Oh, I was like all primed and thin psyched red line right now would be would be epic. And the way the cards are coming out, I wouldn't doubt if it happened because I am. Uh, of course, I think that my luck might be about to change. I hope so. We'll figure. We'll see what happens. Hey, okay, this is important. Come on, blue. Oh man, come on, it's Magua again. Magua has. Uh, he's coming in. He's got a good move. He's coming around. All right. Oh, that's not good. Three flags in a row. That's Magua. That's a... Uh, for Magua. Magua told his men, step out, lads, and they moved an inch. <laughs> <laughs> and they took a step. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Oh, crap. Man. Right, you got two flags. Uh, you doubled up on me. Damn it. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm going to fire my canister into these guys. So it's been all game, but we got up here. Luckily you didn't move any further up because I would have been like past you in my arc. <laughs> Just stopping to stop in the exact right place. So needing threes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight hits. So how do I divide them? Uh, I would say just between these two because these guys back here are blocked by the trees. So I can only see these two. Okay. So four on each. So this Blue one. and yellow. Okay. Come on, Andre. <laughs> Only two shock? <laughs> Holy crap. All right, we'll figure it out. It's the big man. It is the it big is. man. It is. Let's see what happens to him. Yeah, I only did two shock, but I got four kills. 
Uh, he loses a command. Damn, it would have been nice to kill him. Yeah. Um, all right, so uh, we'll sort it out. With Andre's flag, he had Lieutenant Dan, or Lieutenant Dan ran around the edge and down the road, he's heading towards my cannon. And with my last flag after the tip, I'm gonna have Leech fire back at Lieutenant Dan. Uh, so probably over 12 there. So I need fives. Yeah, not bad. Three hits on you. Wow. Okay, hard cover though. Not Woo! a damn thing. Didn't even need the hard cover. No. Okay, and that's it. Move on to the next turn. All right, here we go. This is important again. Blue flag. Come on. Oh, no. That's the cannon. No. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. My dragoons. The dragoons again, who are still in the they'll same situation. Still, they'll fire at you again. All right. Might as well. Three shots. Um, one hit. One hit. Nothing. An ineffective firefight going on over here with the militia and the dragoons. Ah, the big man. Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay so I had um, Dignan had Wadsworth reload. He also had Horton reload. And they're already presented. They've been waiting here this entire game for this moment. We're going to blast <laughs> straight ahead. Uh, 27 shots. Uh, presented, long range, volley, first fire, even fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. eleven. You are slightly under average. Slightly below average. So we'll split them up. All right, so we'll start over here. So that'll be a sh two shock on those guys because they're in the open. These guys here. Dead in a shock. Guys in the soft cover. Nothing. And then the other guys are dead. All right, we'll figure it out. Okay, that's it. Not not a whole lot of damage, but whatever. First blood to the. Uh, I don't know. To these boys. It felt like a lot of damage to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they're unloaded. Next card. Tiffin. And you're not presented. <laughs> not a Tiffin. Your uh, cannon. Cannon. He already reloaded. Just can't do anything. Uh, four, that's Leech over there. Okay, Leech at uh, Lieutenant Dan, eating fives again. I got... Uh, four hits. No, three hits. You needed fours, right? Fives. Oh, fives. Yeah, I... Uh, long range. Come on, get a shock. Damn, nothing again. Can't do... Can't dent Lieutenant Dan. Well, I can't dent you either, so... <laughs> You're not trying to dent me, you're trying to dent my cannon. There we go. Now we're having the blue turn. There's a five. That's There's a uh, cannon. That's your cannon. Who's what the hell? <laughs> might as well fire over here, huh? So he's just gonna have deck alone fire at leech again. Oh. I think you're needing fours? Man, that's a lot of hits. Look at them all. <laughs> that was a hell of a shot. Why fours? Um uh, because you're needing fives plus you presented. Okay. So that would do it. Uh, dead and a shock, two shock. Yeah, dead and two shock. So these guys are getting whittled down more than Lieutenant Dan is. Well, they're taking the cannon shots. All right, next card. Three wow. flags. Come on, look at this. It's a blue turn finally. Do I want to do something? I think I've done everything. <laughs> I'm like, you need, you need to burn those flags, Travis. <laughs> I, need a, I need a fourth flag. Burn, burn a flag. So I don't have anything to burn it with. Burn it on. Sharp practice. Sharp practice. I could sharp practice, couldn't I? Yeah, keep going. <laughs> oh, damn, I should have sharp practiced. Damn it. And Andre, uh, <laughs> left-handed Dan charged the cannon. I decided not to evade, but he was an inch shy. Inch? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't make it. <laughs> Half an inch? Well, maybe, well, maybe three sixteenths of an inch. 
Molly Pitcher with the uh, ramrod stopped you. <laughs> you came up short. You're Excuse like, me, ma'am, is that a ramrod in your hand? <laughs> you go, again, very important. I need the cannon or the one or whatever. Okay, blue. Oh. Come on, like, blue. No, I need two flags. Blue. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna activate my cannon and fire at your uh, your line again. <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That's probably it. Probably will be the cannon. The cannon's card will come out next, but I don't know that right now. Um, so I'm just gonna do it because I'm probably gonna get assaulted and killed. So <laughs> one more one more volley of canister at the line. Needing threes again. Whoa! One, two, three, look at all the ones. Four. One, two, Five. three, four. Five hits. I'll, I'll take, take it. I'll take it too. So put the extra one on the uh, big man's group. Um, so some shock. Point a shock on the four big shock. man. It's double, oh, double shock. shock. Yeah. And so double, and then two shock on those guys. So I just did four shock. Yeah. That'll slow them down though when the uh, time comes for the thin red line. Okay, next one. Hey, three flags in a row. It is. So the cannon fired. Reload! <laughs> <laughs> uh, six. The shock. Remove shock is what I got. We're beating them, boys, but I don't have any shock. Four is leech again. Um, I'm going to assault Lieutenant Dan's guys. Shit, I got three shock. Though. And you're crossing a fence. You're right up against it, though, right? Yeah, but you're assaulting me in cover. That's fine. I'll hit me from the flank, too, though. Let me think about it. I have Leech is going to turn and fire at Lieutenant Dan, but I'm only getting four shots. But I am hitting him on the flank, so if I can somehow punch through that fence, I might be able to do something. Uh, two hits. Um, I need some shock here, Andre. Some fives. Uh, oh, just a dead. Man. It might be Lieutenant Dan, though. Oh, it is. It is Lieutenant Dan. Come on. He's dead. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan has been killed uh, by Leech. Uh, oh, my God. Two, and the bad thing of a two. One. Oh, wow. That was epic. Lieutenant Dan is down, but you can still assault him just with the group after the Tiffin or whatever. Oh boy. Okay, it's Anvala. <laughs> and not enough cards to do the thin red line. Okay, so here we go. We're going to have Anvala is going to do a... He pulled a couple shock, I believe. Yeah. And he used a card. And he's going to blast away. He is within 12 of these guys, so he's going to be hitting everything on twos. Actually, I'm going to... It's going to spread. I'm going to drop one more die. And I'm going to activate uh, Dan's group since Danny's gone. Okay. Can I do that with Danny gone? Yeah, you can just command okay. the group. Yeah. Because yeah. that's what you do anyway. All right. Roar. Anything but on these. Uh, butts. Four butts. Four butts. All right. So here we go. We'll start with these guys here. Uh, soft cover. So a dead dead shock. shock. Okay, it's a good start. Dignan's gr Dignan's group. Two dead Two dead shock. shock. So I have to roll for Dignan on that. This end group here. Two shock. Yep. And then Wadsworth and hardcover. Dead in a shock. Okay. That was a good place to waste that roll. <laughs> yeah, so a dead out of Wadsworth. Now let's roll for Dignan's guy. It's not Dignan, so two dead out of here. And a dead out of here, and then we'll put the shock out. And Lieutenant Dan's guys are wanting revenge. So under orders of Anvala, they're going to charge my cannon, which is going to try to get out of dodge. Because um, I don't know how to fight with them. <laughs> I know that their troop quality is the lowest, but in the list it doesn't show how many dice that they get. Troop types and fisticuffs. I can't see it in there anywhere. Non-impact cavalry, non-impact. I don't see, uh, I don't see. 
First thing he's going to do is fire. So five shots. He being force. Really? One hit. Soft cover. Oh, I lost a guy. That's not good. Uh, see if it's the leader. It's not the leader, thankfully. Okay, so now he's going to charge, and we're going to. I'm just going to stay and fight. I have no idea how they fight. I don't see them on the list. I see their quality. So, what I say, you're going to get six uh, plus. Hold on. You're going to have eight. I'm going to have. We'll say four. <laughs> so, looking for fives? Fives and sixes. Hey, I got one. Got a six. Okay, so we're standing and fighting with our ramrods. Molly Looks pitcher. Looks like you might pull it off. Nope. That's a tie. So you lost the guy. I lost the guy and took a shock. Um, check your leader. <laughs> it's not my leader. Okay, go again. Oh yeah, that's a little a, better. That's a lot better. So okay, so he killed three and got two shock. And I will see if I can match that. I got one again. So you're down another guy. I'm down three. Check the leader. It's not the leader again. Uh, we'll leave Molly Pitcher in there. So I'm the leader. <laughs> Molly Pitcher and Horton. <laughs> It'll be the last, last men standing. <laughs> and I take two more shock. Still, still not broken, but I I did lose by three, so I have to fall back. Okay, well, I lost by three, so I took I fell back 12, took a bunch more shock, which broke them. They routed off the table, and so Horton routed, group broke, and that dropped me down to three in my force morale now, which means I'm going to lose a couple a flag or so, flag or two. All right, next card. <laughs> Whew! <laughs> <laughs> wow, the tiffin comes out. All right. We continue. Hey, look, everybody's unloaded. <laughs> A red flag, okay. Oh boy, I that's not good. I still can't do this in red line. Oh, but that's all right though. You can still fire another volley and probably put a big hurting on me. Well, I can reload. Fire an uncontrolled volley. You're still within twelve of of that target, so you're hitting on fours even without presenting. Which probably makes it worthwhile. Yeah, definitely. Here we go. Needing fours this time. Count them up. So we'll start uh, 13, 13 hits, so three each and then four on this group back here. So we'll start over here. Uh, point, point of shock. shock. And dead and two shock. And that was on the big man's group. So we're up to four shock now. Uh, and a dead. Well, if you're gonna start putting the shock on now, we better do it for all of them. Okay, these guys here are dead. So my militia are getting whittled down, and then finally um, Wadsworth. No, uh, nothing on Wadsworth. Yeah, so these guys are starting to starting to get whittled down slowly. Not slowly, but surely. It's a it's a whittle. It's not a. It's a whittle. A slow whittle. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, what is that? Uh, Leech. <laughs> He's over there. I'll see what I do with those guys. These guys move up. I still got these uh, Dragoons here, even though they got seven shots. <coughs> he can't get me from behind, possibly. But he's going to have to go to the walk now to turn. Um, so I just moved up one. I got a two inch move with all the shock, and I'm going to fire at what's left of Lieutenant Dan's guys. <laughs> one hit. One hit wonders. Nothing. <laughs> I cannot do anything to those guys. All right, next card. I think I shot at those guys four, three or four times, and I have done nothing. To it's them. your cannon. I'm cannon. gonna reload it. Cannons. He's gonna take the man <laughs> to the cannon, turn it around, and fire at the line. It'd be pretty awesome. And I can't. And my I don't have four flags anymore, so I'll never get my cavalry in. Uh, two is Wadsworth. Um, he's in pretty good shape. Yeah, he's not bad. Forget about the turnaround. So Wadsworth, uh, I just had him uh, leap the fence and turn around just to get out of that 12 inch. So now he's gonna be hitting in long range. Five, that's uh, Decalone, that's your uh, cannon again. 
And I have uh, Olivier is going to fire at Leech, who somehow is still in the arc. He moved the wrong way. Or he moved not far enough, I should say. He didn't move far enough. Yeah, he's... <laughs> okay, so it's a uh, presented shot for force. Uh... Force to hit. Man. I get a pretty Five decent roll. Five hits. Five hits. It's an average roll. Uh, two points of shock. And there are five with five guys. Okay, next card. Mm, do I want to do anything? Present and fire. <laughs> Control <laughs> volley. Uh, man, just keep going. Six. That's that's is that's Wallace. He'll fire. Uh, that's a miss. <laughs> So Wallace uh, hasn't really done anything since that day. Or since, 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 since yesterday, wasn't it? <laughs> That's my big Sometime man. yesterday. <laughs> okay, I used all my flags, all his commands. I got most of my shot gone. got one, two, one. And then I was going to fire. But I'm an uncontrolled volley now. A long range. So I'm only hitting on sixes. Which is crap. One. Hey. Two. Two, three hits. <laughs> <laughs> Yeehaw. Okay, so I assume you're gonna one, two, three it. Yeah. Point of shock. Point, Point of shock. shock. Point, Point of shock. shock. Andre keeps forgetting to use his uh, holy man over there onto his dragoons. I do. You can only do that when the one comes out too. So. Well, I'll try to remember. There, there was a long period there <laughs> where the one didn't come out. Also. Yeah. So maybe next. He time had it a comes bit out. of a dry spell. Four is Lieutenant Dan, who's dead. <laughs> you can take his card out. Uh, and then the Tiffin, and Andre's got one flag. Uh, the end there, Andre's had Magua uh, move up down the road in uh, next turn. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Red flag, blue flag. Blue flag. That's three Son flags of in Magua. a row. Son of Magua move. moving. Eight. Eight. So it's on a, the road. <laughs> reducing formation movement, which they're on a form. Oh, yeah, the big man. Okay, we're gonna pull some more shock and do something. Pulled some shock. I'm gonna have the main formation fire. I'm gonna have Wadsworth fire straight ahead. So the formation first needs sixes. One, two, three. Three hits again. Look out. I took three hits before I took three hits, and then I took three more. Oh. Oh. Dead, in Dead nothing in a shock. Yep, and then I'll have Wadsworth's going to have five, six, seven shots. And he's going to be hitting on fours, I believe. Three more hits. Look out. Where are you putting those? Over here. So, I think I can pick up. I was going to say, out. can't you just a big man target him? Oh, it's a dead. Okay, can I hit him again? No. But I am at five shock with five, five guys. guys. Yeah, you're still good. <laughs> okay, so they're going to be. Well, they loaded, reloaded, fire and reload, right? Or did I? I think I'm unloaded again. I guess it doesn't really matter. Did you fire them? Um, yeah. Remember, I got three hits. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how effective they were. Uh, wow. <laughs> and then Wadsworth's going to be unloaded as well. Okay. Uh, that's your dragoons again. So, oh, can't bring the holy man in yet. Um, Wallace turned. And roll the five with seven shock. <laughs> so he's just chilling. Uh, that's your cannon. <laughs> Reload. Oh, I yeah. don't get to blast them again? No, not yet. Okay. Thank God. Three. Magua. Magua had an epic move. Uh, he's way up here now. Oh, and then the Tiffin. Okay, well, I don't have anything left. 
you got a card with these guys. You can do something with them. Okay, uh, what's left of Lieutenant Dan's guys are moving up and they're going to fire at Leech. Three shots, one hit. Point of shock. So they're at six now. Uh, they're going to fall back an inch. Actually, they might fall back more than that. Back three inches. Nothing. Nothing, nothing on the bad thing. All right, next. Oh, that was it, huh? Oh. And I have nothing left, so next turn. All right, here we go. Next turn. Hey, big man. Okay. Again. Well, again. We'll You're hammering me. Fire dude. and reload. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so Dignan had, he pulled some more shock, had them reload, and then we're going to just fire another uncontrolled volley. Eating sixes. Uh, yeah. Wow. Not a six. That's impressive. 22 dice. That's not easy to do, Travis. Not a single six. That was. I think my men are getting tired. That was impressive. So much Whoa. smoke. Oh, now, the, now the British big man. Okay. All right. So. Here we go. All right, holy man's coming in over there. He's going to remove three shock. So he's down to four shock now over here with the dragoons. And these guys fell back three, so the, the gap has been closing. <laughs> um, and then he's got the rest of the big man stuff. All right, so he's going to have, first he's, uh, first thing he's going to do, Anval is going to have them fire over here. He gets two hits. And we'll say soft cover. Yeah. See if it happens to be leech. It does not, but it's a dead. And a shock. And a shock. So we're at seven. One more they're going to break. And then I have to do a bad thing, which no. is nothing. Okay. okay. Son of Magua. Son of Magua has not fired yet, has he? Uh, oh, he doesn't get first fire anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> he hasn't, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so we'll have Son of Magua do so his thing. Magua's going to fire now. He's in sixes, though. He doesn't get his first fire. Hey, uh, I did a Travis. <laughs> yeah, add 10 or 12 more dice to that, and that's uh, right. Oh, you want? I get to roll it again? <laughs> we roll all misses. So they're fire and reload, fire and reload. Okay. And then over uh, there, the big man's group. He's just going to have um, his his big formation is going to reload and present. Red flag. Red flag. Should have done uh, thin red line. <laughs> yeah, we still haven't seen that yet. Blue flag. That's three. That's three in a row. So the last person to fire was Magua. Six. Six. Probably nothing. You get to remove a point of shot because they're they're so motivated. <laughs> <laughs> Motivational speaker. Oh, you know what? I just forgot a rule. Oh, well. There was a rule I had. It was uh, the Indians only listen to Magua, so they can't be ordered by the big man. But he didn't do anything anyway. <laughs> <laughs> From now on, they won't listen to you. Okay. <laughs> uh, so that's three flags for Andre with nothing left to do. Oh, these guys. Um, I'll just wait for the fourth flag and see if we can... Uh... Okay. Keep going. Tiff is fugit. Tiffin. So. You gotta do it. They'll charge. See if they make it. Oh yeah. Ooh. That's gonna be 10 plus six minus four. 12, yeah. Yeah. And I'm not even gonna be able to fight. I'm militia, skirmishers with seven shock, four guys. Um, let's just roll for leader, level one leader captured. Yeah, That's six. always good. Those are always good rolls. And then group wiped out, probably minus one. So that's probably three. Thumb down to zero. Yeah, was it three, right? Yeah. yeah. So that'll be the end of the defense of Johnson's Landing. And we'll come back and wrap it up. So an epic game. Uh, real time, that game took oh, almost four hours. <laughs> Video time really wasn't that long, but... So I don't know where all the time went. We weren't lollygagging. We were moving right along in real time, but... Hey, that's just, like Andre was saying, moving across the board this way in, long, in sharp practice and only having muskets, most of the guys, there's just a lot of moving, a lot of random movement distances that you don't go far, and no, not a lot of shooting because it takes forever to get in the range. So. But in the end, the militia have lost Johnson's Landing because we have, were driven off by force morale. And these Dragoons here, I think, must be Andre's MVP. Yeah. 
Um, they came in early. He got those four flags. I never did get mine on, sadly. But they came in and they took out uh, Sander Tyson's four group. And then they kind of stuck around. The holy man came in, gave him enough, um, rid of him, rid him of enough shock. And, and plus the involuntary withdrawal of three inches. <laughs> Together, uh, he was able to just ride down what was left of those that little skirmish group there. And, well, and they really it. did tie up that whole flank uh, yeah. single-handedly. Yeah, they did. They um, allowed, uh, I mean, that they allowed Lieutenant Dan to come up and take out the cannon. Yep. If, Even uh, though he got killed. <laughs> well, I'm still giving Dan credit. Yeah. He's back at the tent with the nurses again. <laughs> That's where he always is at the end of every oh, battle. Oh man, I got shot in the pinky again. Wounded or not, he's got the million dollar wound. Uh, but yeah, I mean this developed this. I was expecting a lot more out of this uh, this here, but so <laughs> if I'd have been willing to just go uncontrolled, I would have fired a lot more and rolled a lot more dice. Yeah, then you saw how I was for rolling. But uncontrolled was total crap. I mean, you literally double the odds of a hit by uh, presenting yep. and I really didn't I was afraid if I went uncontrolled I wouldn't be able to get him back under control that's happened to me more than once yeah even and though I think you don't need anything but with the musician really yeah okay because well, you're a regular is with the musician I think it's a three but with I think he gives you a plus one on that I've, I've been burned on that before so I was just a little yeah. gun shy yeah no I don't blame you but, but uh, uh, Really, over here, the only thing that saved my bacon was you having your skirmishers up here in 12-inch range. Yeah, yeah. Um, I should have pulled them out a long time ago, but... That was uh, the only reason I was really holding my own over here, because the uh, cards were not coming out for me on this side. Yeah, you had a kind of middle of the game. You had a streak of really good card yeah. turns coming out, and I was not getting crap. And then I had a couple of good turns towards the end where it was the opposite but um yeah didn't it, really do me a whole lot of good well <laughs> it it kept you in the game against the big line which was really where i thought my big strength was going to be yeah um that i was thinking was more of a distraction i didn't think that was going to really be the uh the end all to this was you taking a force morale plunge from your flank support <laughs> yeah. yeah i didn't either um, yeah, those Dragoons, they came in and they, uh, they did the job, which is surprising. I think that's the best I've ever seen a cavalry unit ever do in a game of Shark Cry. Took two units out. Yeah, um, <laughs> well, and... <laughs> that's unheard of. It would have happened a lot sooner if I'd have remembered the Holy Man, uh, yeah, earlier that's true. too. Yeah, there was a, probably one or two times you could have brought him in yeah. and never did. He just sat there I did have a dry spell on... On the, the big man card, but yeah. uh, I missed it a couple times too. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, it's getting late here, and we're, I'm very tired, so we're gonna cut this wrap up short. But it was a great game um, for a thrown together mission. I think it worked out pretty well. I never did. I f I forgot again to repopulate with the cards. <laughs> I don't know if I really had. Maybe I'm, I could have done that once or twice and didn't do it, but uh, I could have brought a couple guys back. But oh maybe. well. Maybe. Anyway, so yeah, thanks to Andre for coming out, and I thanks everyone who came to the live stream again. Um, really cool of you guys to hang out with us. Uh, we enjoy it a lot. And check out our Patreon, and check out our other social media stuff as well. And let us know what you guys think of this game, and we'll catch you next time.